Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, so this is our fourth installment, and uh, I'm running a new mod. It's the NPC Bush People version 6.847. Uh, that's the main working mod, and uh, it, it's they're still you know developing it, and uh, new updates coming out uh, fairly regularly. Uh, one second. Uh, okay. So, um, that's the new, uh, mod name. Now, what this does, uh, so you'll see the person standing there, it puts AI NPCs in the game. And, uh, now I've summoned some in for guards, but it it also uh, summon or they spawn uh, in the wild, and you can tame them. Um, it may be a passive tame, but knock them out first to you know see what the game tells you. I haven't done that yet. Uh, I know, I know, I've kind of cheated on that. But uh, one of the things, uh, so you can spawn in a, uh, a mod helper, and that's this one. I, I renamed it, but it's, uh, so you hit uh, the, you know, it says hit E for UI, and you'll notice, right, it pops up a, uh, a menu up at the top click on the stats here and this tells me um, well it's it's updating right there but I from here I can um, basically reset all the, the wild dinos to allow uh, new dinos and uh, NPCs to spawn in um, So yeah, see, I don't, I don't, don't have any. So if I give that a minute, and then I'll reset everything. If I want to change uh, any of these settings, I've got to go to use the UI. Now I can independently or individually adjust what uh, the stats for these guys are. So. Like say, if I want them to be, uh, click on one, can be tamed. Yes, they can be tamed. Uh, right now they're neutral. Do I want them to show up being, you know, but nude? Well, I they can I can do that. Okay, so they're now see they're. They're starting to spawn. Um, okay, so let's exit out of here. I don't want to mess with that real quick right now. Uh, spawn map pulls up where are they spawning on your map. Okay, so let that update. And um, now I let's see. I'm on. This is where I'm currently at. Is on this island. This is the Horseshoe Island. Uh, where the Horseshoe Village is at, and then I have a uh, another base right in right in this area, and actually we're going to go to that one here in, in just a minute. So all these green dots, this is where uh, the underwater <laughs> that one's not going to live. Um, these are where NPCs are spawning in at. Uh, so they don't have any bases yet, though, but they will eventually spawn in a base. Oh, one down there. Okay. Um, so that that lets you see that. Let's come out of here, and then I can trigger a raid if they had a. a, a a base or something, I could trigger a raid 
Uh, I don't want to do that. And or spawn in something specific. Although that's not really how I do it, but okay. And then I'm gonna hit my F button and go ahead and level this one up. Okay, so while I'm actually in here, um, you won't need, you know, a hundred of the Bush People Smithy, but this, uh, I've got one set up already. Um, this NPC Tamer structure, dude, this is nice. Uh, I used it on a different map, uh, knocked out a, uh, uh, a Sarko, actually, and set one up. And it automatically feeds the the dino, keeps the dino unconscious, and if anything comes comes by to to attack the dino, it will uh, defend that dino. So, I mean, you don't have you're not stuck right there anymore. I would still stay nearby, but you know you can kind of. Uh, wander out a little bit uh, if you wanted to. Um, but uh, it, actually it may work better if, if you stay nearby because then instead of being by yourself like on a solo map you know I'm trying to guard you know ward off raptors or dialos or whatever now you have a, a guard there that can help and they usually spawn in as uh, archers so some ranged uh, as well. Now you can't set how far out they see or, or whatever, but it's it's something, you know. Uh, these are ingredients in building. Uh, I think like the the well, we have a town center and then a housing, so. You, you drop these and NPCs can spawn there and, uh, and eventually build a base. Uh, what I don't know is if they come in uh, tamed or if they are wild. I would assu assume wild. Um, then we have unfertilized eggs. I think the structure that they used the uh, uh, as the base for the NPCs is a dino because we have fertilized eggs and um, now when they when they hatch uh, yeah I know humans hatching from an egg that's <laughs> that's a little wrong not really how it works but uh, sure for, for game purposes sure um, so you ha this gives you a, a hundred uh, fertilized eggs and then a hundred that are, I mean, consumable. Uh, a bit cannibalistic, really, but, y you know, in a pinch, that'll do. Um, so that's, um, that's basically what, what they've added. Now, at the, um, they, you can actually add, ah, let me, all right, so you can add armor to them, but it's a, it has to be crafted at the, the NPC smithy, otherwise it doesn't show up right. Um, but you can add a, uh, a shield and a weapon. You can give them a weapon. Um, so if you wanted them to have a, uh, like a bow or something, you c they, they could have one if they weren't, didn't spawn in as an archer normally, um, I think. But there you are. Um, and, and here's the, here's the fun part. Okay, so not on this one, on the, the mod helper, but let me, uh, I'm getting some lag. There we go. So I have a, uh, an archer out here. Wow, I'm getting 
Sorry about all that. Alright, I have him set on wander. I sh probably shouldn't have. So, you can actually... They're still working on uh, <laughs> that. Let me... There. <laughs> Getting a piggyback ride. Let me go ahead and level this guy up too. <laughs> Huh? Oh, too cool. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't know they did that. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> so. <laughs> nice. All right. So that is uh, that. Let me go to the, uh, the smithy, show you guys that. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so here is the uh, NPC smithy. Now you'll remember I've got my uh, blacksmith and uh, keep forge over there. Uh, so the the smithy. Here's what they have in in the smithy. Let me access it real quick. So it also has you know some dyes in there. Um, you can use regular dyes, um, and they have, uh, let me go ahead and drop some, sorry, I probably should have had some of this set up beforehand, but, you know, reasons, uh, alright, so, Oh, of course. Always have the wrong. <laughs> I oh wait there. Not enough. Oh. All right. So. All right. So that's a uh, do 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 cold weather. Uh, I believe it's primitive though. But so you have. Uh, they give you the ramshackle uh, blueprints. And then you have blueprints for, these are all the armors that uh, will show up on the, uh, the NPCs that, that they'll actually wear. So, hide armor, um, and then you can, so this flag here uh, keeps, um, keeps them from building a base you know, like right on top of your base. Um, you can... S uh, these are guards that you can craft um, using uh, the... you know, the NPC lungs and liver and everything. Basically, you're creating a Frankenstein. Um, they've got two different guard levels. One's uh, sword and shield, the other one's an archer. Um, it, again, it's just like the uh, uh, the NPC tamer, you know, it sets up a, a guard. If a enemy walks by, it triggers the guard. The guard lasts for 60 seconds um, with a 90 second uh, timer delay cooldown. Um, so, it, once it's triggered, it takes 90 seconds uh, for it to re-trigger. Um, you can craft the uh, town center. Excuse me. Everything that was on the, uh, the mod helper, you can craft right here. And then a, uh, a, a pole that you can stick trophy heads on. <laughs> All kinds of stuff. Um, so, I mean, there's, there's that, and so now, uh, we're going to do, uh, I'm going to head over to...